Hi, thanks for watching. My name's Roby Jenkins and I'm going to be talking today about the dice mechanics in the game Horizon Wars Zero Dark. There are two core mechanics in the game that we're going to look at. They're called Normal Tests and Counter Tests. Now if you've played the previous Horizon Wars game, just called Horizon Wars, this will look quite familiar to you. But in Zero Dark I've taken the mechanics used in Horizon Wars, really turned them up to 11, made them work quite hard uh, to make the game as interesting as I can. So first of all, let's look at the dice themselves. Like Horizon Wars, Zero Dark is based around the D12. The 12-sided dice mark from 1 to 12. They can be any, num any colour, rather, they can be any design, but they need to be 12-sided and marked from 1 to 12. When you make any test, you're testing against a target number. Now, how you calculate that number will depend a lot upon what you're testing. For the sake of argument, I'm just going to make up some numbers that we're going to test against today. Our first test is going to get be against a target of 8. The other thing you use is the character or hero's stat that is being tested against. In this case, let's say it's a shooting attack and they're using their fight stat. Their fight is 5, so they're going to roll 5 dice with a target of 8. So let's roll and see how they do. So let's line those up and have a look at each one as we go. So we've got a 2, a 6, a 7, a 9, and a 10. What did we say the target was? 8. That's right. So the 10 and the 9 are clearly both successes. What have we got left? 2, 6, and 7. No successes there. But we can add these dice together now. 2 and 6 makes 8. So that 2 is a success. So in fact, out of that roll, we've got 1, 2, three successes. So much so simple? Brill. Let's try it again. This time, still five dice, but this time shooting a slightly more distant or more difficult target. Our target number is 13. So again here, 13 is impossible to roll on one dice. We've had a terrible dice roll, but that was a one. But although we've not done terribly well, we've got an 11, a one, and a one, and that's a 13. The 8 and the 1 that's left isn't enough to make another success. So we've got one success. Does that all make sense so far? Great. OK. Last one then. We're going to go against a target number of 25. And I'll give you a few seconds to have a look at the dice and see if you can work out how many successes we've got. Well, I think it's only one. What do you think? Let's have a look. So we've got 10 and 2 is 12. Let's add the 5, 17, 24, 30. And our target was 25. There's no way we're going to make more than 25. We could mix up some of those so we can put the 10 and the 7 and the 6. So that gives us 23 and 25. But there's no way we're going to get a second success out of that. However, let's suppose we'd rolled a 12. 12 in Zero Dark is special. It's called a lucky 12. Lucky 12s always count for plus one success over what they would do. So in this case, we've got 25 right there. He says confidently. Yes, we have. Okay, just had a moment of doubt that I'd add it up wrong. Yeah, so we've got 25 right there, and then we've got a 12 left over. The 12 isn't enough, but it makes an extra hit on its own, so that counts as two hits. Now, however you match it up, that would be 22, 28, a success, plus one for the 12, two successes. The two and the seven left behind don't make enough to make another success. So however you add the dice up, there's always going to be a maximum of two successes on that roll. So that's normal tests, and that makes up a lot of what you do. Now, we've tested against 25, which is quite a high target. That would represent a long-distance shot on the tabletop. It's quite unusual that you'd be testing against a shot that against a target that high, often simply because you'd go, ah, it's not worth the effort. One of the reasons it might not be worth the effort, I will show you now. So, counter-tests. Again, counter-tests have been lifted straight out of Horizon Wars. 
um, and if you've played that game you'll be very familiar with this. Let's suppose that we've got a target of 8 and a stat of 3, so we're rolling 3 dice with a target of 8. So off that one we've made 1 success. 7 and the 2 is the 9, 3 is not enough. Now let's try a counter test against it. For the purposes of this test, let's say the target has been shot and they're wearing armour. Armour value of 2, and armour is what you think of as the, the classic counter test in Zero Dark. There are others, but that is the one that you use most often. So with an armour value of 2, they'll roll 2 dice in a counter test. Now this has come out quite nicely in a way, but I'm going to change that result just so it makes more sense. So let's put down that as a 7. Good. Now supposing I've rolled that 7, the 7 and the 7 match. So now the 7 is taken away because it exactly matches the other 7. The 2 and the 3 don't make enough to make another hit, so nothing else happens. In this case the 12 is quite irrelevant. Let's suppose the 12 was uh, an 11. Even though the 11 is higher than any of the results, it still has no value because you're looking to exactly match the results on the original test in the counter test. So let's look at that again. Try another test on three. Let's say still after eight on three dice. Great roll, look at that, 12 and a 12 and a six. So each of the 12s is a hit and they each provide a lucky hit as well. So we're looking at four hits off three dice. Great shot, armor test, nothing. Three doesn't match, the five doesn't match. What if one of them was a 12? Let's change that now and look at the 12. So that 12 cancels one of the 12s, and this is important. It's only one of them, okay? So that one's gone. It can't also cancel that one. So that is a success, because we needed eight, and it's another success. Now that's still two hits. But don't forget a lucky 12, even on a counter test, always counts for one additional success. So one of those hits is now blocked by the lucky hit. So it comes down, sorry, the lucky 12. So it comes down to one hit. Let's look at an example on four dice. The target of, let's say 13. So we've got a six and a six and a two. They make a hit, but there's nothing else. The target, this time, let's say they've got armor value three. Rolling three dice. 9 and a 1 and a 3 doesn't match any of those, has no effect. The fact that the 9 is higher than any of those dice doesn't matter. You're looking for an exact match. One more example. On 5 dice, still looking for a 13 target on 5 dice. So we've got a great result. 12 and a 6, two 6s is an 8. There we are. In fact, we don't even need that 6. The target of 13 we've comfortably got three hits. One, two, and the lucky 12, three. Still got an armor value of three though. So now we're gonna be, oops, that was a seven. So now we're gonna be canceling. So the six cancels one of the sixes. They have gone away. Seven and the nine don't match anything, so they don't do enough. So that 12 can be rematched over there. We've still got a hit there. We've still got a hit there, and we've got the lucky hit. Still three hits, doesn't matter what the counter test was. I hope that's made normal tests and counter tests nice and clear. Uh, if you've got any questions about the dice mechanics, do ask in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, in the next short video that I'm going to be doing for Horizon War Zero Dark, we'll be looking at those tests in action in the form of shooting, and how shooting works in Zero Dark. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.